Hey guys, Tech Made Easy, and thank you so much for clicking on our video today. Well, hey, we've got the Ryobi 40 volt snow shovel. Now, this is their latest snow shovel. They do have another one that's not brushless. So, this one's brushless, and what we're going to do is a super quick unboxing so you can see what's included. And then, you know, we got a little bit of snow, so we weren't able to really get a good impression on this. We've got a first impression video for you. And uh, we're going to go ahead and share what we thought based off of using this just for a short period of time. And then hopefully we can come back with a more detailed review. All right, but let's go ahead and get this party started. Hi, it's Al from Tech Made Easy with a real quick message. I just want to let you know the video you're about to watch is not sponsored. We went out and bought the products ourselves. So if you like our video, please give us a thumbs up. It definitely helps. Share our video. And lastly, we hope you subscribe to our channel and become a part of the family. Thank you. Let's go ahead and get this unboxed. All right, so here is everything that you get. Right, Brooklyn? So we get the expanded system so this is the power head system for the expanded there are a couple more tools i've seen all right so just kind of go over that real quick we get the snow shovel attachment that's going to be what today's all about get the four amp hour battery it's got some the battery gauge in the back we got uh, the charger and this is the plug for the charger. You get your booklets, and then you get two styles of handles. Now, I'm not sure which one Brooklyn's going to want to use, but this might be better on the back. I'm not sure yet, so I'll have to really try them both out. But that's everything that you get in the box. Let me go over some basics now. So this sells for $299, but as of today, February 2023, as I launch this video, it's actually on sale. It's $239 with the battery and the charger. I mean, that's probably the cost of the battery alone. And this is, uh, you know, you've got a nice fuel gauge on here. Now, when you're using this, and you'll see in my demonstration, you've got a variable speed trigger. You just have to use this release. You've got two speeds, all right? So you'll be able to adjust two speeds. Again, it did come with two handles, as you saw in the unboxing, so I like that. I do like that you can rotate this 180 degrees. You've got one, two, and it's in current position, which is nice. All right, so that's good. Um, it is a brushless motor, right? And it throws snow, they say, up to 22 feet. Now, I've even seen information where it says it throws snow up to 25 feet. You know, so it's a little confusing message out there. Charge time on the battery is about two and a half hours, and they do give you a five-year warranty on the tool and a three-year on the battery. All right, let's go ahead and do some demos and check this out. Again, I don't have a lot of snow in this demo, but I'll do my best for you. So here it is, assembled. Didn't take long, really. It slides right into here. You've got uh, the, you can turn this 180 degrees, by the way. So, you know, whichever way you want that to, to be and whichever way you want the handle to be, this will allow you to go 180 degrees. As you can see, there's one hole it's in now. It can go in this hole or it can go in this hole. And then you just tighten the knob. Now, I decided to use this handle instead. Uh, it looks like it'll be a better match for me. I did raise it all the way to the top because I am six foot two and, uh, you know, you've got the variable speed trigger. All right, it's obviously a lock trigger. There's no battery on this, but you would pull this in and then you've got a variable speed. And you also have two speed settings, all right? So two speeds and variable speed, really nice. Again, 40 volt brushless. And uh, let's take a peek at the bottom real quick. Again, no battery is installed so you know again plastic right you know that's really what it comes down to these are plastic tools 
And uh, it doesn't look like it's going to move unless the battery's in there. I don't want to damage anything. But um, 12 inches and 6 inches in depth. So 12 inches in width, 6 is inches in depth. And you could see, you know, not too thick, but not too thin as far as plastic is concerned. All right, so that's what your mechanism looks like. Let's check this out. 40 volt is installed. The battery is 100%. Uh, You've got four bars, 25, 50, 75, and 100. That's what it sounds like. That's speed number one. Speed number two. And adjustable, right? Variable speed. You want to go slow. You want to go fast. So, there's about, I would say, an inch and a half to two inches on this here. interesting it is pushing again I'm playing with the angle for the first time all right there you go so my angle was a little weird you know my angle was a little weird again first time using this and so if I had it down it basically pushed the snow and then whatever it got it threw out so it looks like you have to angle it this way let me play for a moment so there's definitely a, a right angle with this too so I'm going to turn it on for a minute. I want you to watch. It'll either push the snow and throw it, but if you get the right angle, it'll only throw it. So I'm pushing now. You can see that. But now if I angle it correctly, it actually just throws that snow. So not too bad. Yeah, it does a better job also of getting it down to the ground. I must say I like this handle also. You know, I do find myself when I'm using this, because it's on the right side of my body, keeping my hand here or here. It's nice to have the option. Uh, again, it's just a little butterfly nut that you can open and close. And uh, yeah, so let's, uh, let's finish this up for a minute and uh, I'll go over how I feel about it. Now you don't have a mechanism to change the direction on where you want the snow to go. All right, guys, so you know what? Not bad. Light actually really isn't heavy. I've got to tell you, I like this option. You saw the two options they gave you. I like this option for a handle. It's really adjustable, you know, and you can just like turn that nut and really adjust it the way you want. I like the two speeds. I like the variable trigger. I got to say, you know, because we were only able to use it for a little while, I think the challenge is you saw as we were angling this thing that it was pushing the snow and the snow wasn't really getting inside. So we were playing around with the angle and I think we just need more time with it. All right, I don't want to really say anything too bad, but you know, nice, it's built well. Again, not too heavy and definitely love that handle. So I hope that you found our video helpful in some way and if you did, Go ahead and give us a thumbs up. It really helps the channel, all right? And by the way, if you're new to the channel, take a moment. Subscribe, join the family, 
and uh, share our video with your friends, your family, and your chat rooms if you're in any chat rooms. And uh, follow us on Instagram, Twitter, or Facebook right up there. All right, guys, thanks so much, and have a great day. Hey, guys, take a moment and give us a thumbs up. We'd really appreciate it. As you can see, Brooklyn, she's waving her tail for you. Take a moment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit the bell and you'll get notified of new videos we come out with. Also, follow us and contact us on Instagram, Twitter, or Facebook. We'd love to have you. Thank you so much and have a wonderful day.